a return to my uh, theory theorizing of um of uh, ways to get elliptic energy, also known as orgone energy, um, into a uh, to a uh, uh, growing plant growing environment. Um, as I posted in my last couple of videos, this is Michael Ellis, and I am working on trying to find a way to grow plants indoors using uh, Hieronymus Galen Hieronymus's theories on elliptic energy, um, growing plants in the dark, basically on artificial sunlight emitting uh, dark matter, dark matter, um, not dark matter in the uh, astronomical sense, but uh, dark matter on the, um, the uh, outside the uh, visible spectrum, according to humans, sense. Um, Elliptic orgone energy, um, whatever you want to call it, uh, chi, vital force. Um, basically what, uh, her, uh, just to go over the review, you can skip over this if you, um, if you, uh, already heard this, but, um, so basically what, uh, Galen Hieronymus did was he had a metal plate outside, a copper plate outside in the sun, ran a wire down to a box, uh, in his darkened basement and I was able to grow uh, plants uh, without any visible light successfully. So um, so I've been ruminating over this, uh, well, kind of experimenting and ruminating over this, uh, this topic of how to grow plants in a darkened box, um, relatively speaking. I mean, besides, like, my light going on and off and um, having these little LEDs uh, to kind of like mimic the like moon cycles so they germinate faster but and so I can see what's going on but um uh, when it's in dark in the darkness um so um so I'm trying to get the plants to grow a um at a full chlorophyll um type of uh growth um indicators um like Galen Hieronymus said he did um, not using a plate outside, using something else to emit the elliptic energy um, without using power, without using anything outside. So it could be like atomic wasteland outside and I could still grow plants in the house um, with like no energy, no, no electricity, nothing except like basic um, materials. And so far I have tried a um, coil around a hagstone um, that didn't work with uh, plates up above and below. And um, I think the plate is where I got off on the wrong foot. Um, I've tried to plate with batteries, plate with uh, connected up to an organite uh, tube, like a cloud buster sort of deal, like this deal, like hooked up to the actual tube of it. Like the copper pipe, I mean. Uh, tubes are on word to use. Uh, to the copper pipe of it. Um, basically, and my solar net design, this sort of thing, with 10 ohm resistors, 10 mega ohm resistors, uh, hooked up to either side of it. And uh, that that uh, that I'm still waiting on, but, um, but I don't think it's actually working because I don't see a lot of chlorophyll in the um, sprouts that I'm getting. So here's my next solution is just organite to, for organite's sake. And um, I didn't actually try this. I didn't try putting just plain organite like directly over the the enclosure. And this enclosure I'm using based on uh, Mahaffey's um, suggestion is a just a regular organ accumulator to grow the plants in. And this is has um, basically a uh, cardboard, um, uh, galvanized steel flashing, and then some old uh, hemp canvas um, in layers around it with a steel um, interior and uh, taped uh, taped into place. So there's tape in there to in the mix too. Um, just a couple layers on each side. 
on all the sides. Um, so um, Haffy suggested using um, basically um, artificial lighting and a and a uh, orgone accumulator to um, grow plants in space, basically, or microgravity situations. So I'm trying to grow plants in a artificial environment um, without light or without visible light, trying to um, copy Galen's experiment, Galen Hieronymus's experiment, without using the plate outside. So basically no sunlight. Like if it was a nuclear winter, you could still grow plants inside with no electricity, no none of the fancy fancy stuff. So um so I was sit so I was laying down and I was seeing the sunlight come in through the um through the crack between the blinds in my window and there was a tree branch that was swaying in the wind and I and I saw the light and it kept going um, blinking on and off. And then that got me thinking, well, it blocks the, the, the leaf blocks the, the light. The leaf blocks the light as it's coming in my window. And my window transmits the light, or it like lets the light go through it. So what would light, let, let the light go through it? And what would, and the leaf would block the light from. And then I got thinking the window lets the light through. And that's what makes it work as a window. It blocks some things and it lets the light through. And that got me thinking it's a crystal. It's a crystal that it lets the light through. And then I got thinking about crystals and uh, crystals being electrically um, stimulated and vibrating and stuff. And that got me thinking about organite being uh, like a big crystal um, made out of random junk. So that got me thinking, oh, I was doing it wrong. Um, the organite is the crystal. The organite, not the pipe coming out of it. The organite is the resonator. The organite is the crystal. The organite is what generates the eloptic energy. So I never did actually think of putting organite directly over the enclosure. So I'm going to try that. I don't think this thing's working at all because I don't feel any energy or anything coming off of it. So I'm going to disconnect this, and I'll try it later if the organite doesn't work at all. So I'm going to disconnect this. That's kind of a... Uh, let's put that down there. So just having the organite and my LEDs, which don't do anything. Why is it not working? Oh, there we go. Get that back on. Okay, back online. Okay, so I'm just trying the organite to see if it can um, act as a light source. So if the organite can act as a light source, we're we're doing really well. We're doing really well. So um, so yeah. So if we can if we can get a plant to grow in a orac to flourish in an orac and to use to get chlorophyll going from organite then we're then we're going good we're doing really well so um so i'm going to test this out and i will post an update video when these plants have sprouted and grown their their first leaves so um so it's going to be another two or three weeks before i post my next video so um so we're working on that and uh, these have been planted on the the 19th today is the 21st so um so we'll see about that so thanks for watching this is michael ellis